Hey everyone, it's me again, Pamela from memphisfoodtrutter.blogspot.com and welcome to my channel, Memphis Food Trutter. And this is another episode of Pamela Fear Not. We're switching it up. We're not doing anything with dough today. We're actually going to try to make sliders. So I was watching two different videos this week and both of them happened to talk about sliders. And fun fact, I didn't know that sliders are not just miniature burgers, but they're actually steamed. And one video I watched was referencing White Castle burgers, which I've never had before, but I've seen in the frozen section, and those are steamed. So we're gonna tempt them today, and we're gonna basically steam them or cook them on top of a bed of onions. So right here I have about half a pound of ground beef, and I'm just gonna season it with some salt, garlic, cracked black pepper and my Himalayan pink salt. Add your seasonings and mix together. As you can see, I'm using a spoon. However, some people believe that you should get your hands dirty and it's better if you kind of massage it through, or at least they do that for meatballs. But I'm using a spoon to stay a little bit cleaner. You can probably tell that I'm struggling just a little bit and that's only because I'm trying to do this one-handed with, of course, the camera in the other hand. But mix this well, but don't overdo it because then it's going to make the meat a little bit tough. Now you're going to place the meat in between two pieces of parchment paper and you're going to roll it out flat. This, of course, will make it quick cook really fast. And I'm going to roll it out into some sort of rectangle-ish shape because I'm going to basically cut four squares out of this that are going to match the size of my slider buns. And here I'm going to cut out four. I'm cutting off any extraneous pieces of meat because again I want these into four squares so that it's going to fit my burger buns nicely because I'm going to steam the buns on top of the meat itself. Once you've cut your meat leave it on the parchment paper heat up the pan or griddle that you're using to steam your burgers in and put some olive oil, oil in it or whatever oil you choose. I'm using a grapeseed oil at the moment. And you're gonna put enough onions to cover your pan in one layer. You're just gonna cook this to where there's not a raw taste anymore in the onions. You don't need it to color necessarily. You're not trying to sweat it down or caramelize it. However, a little color is fine. Mine will turn a little bit like a honey-ish color but it's definitely not going to be close to the browning or blackening stage. Turn your stove down low, add a little bit of water, and this is going to steam your meat. Flip over your meat from the parchment paper, and then you're going to place the bottoms of your buns on top of the meat, and that's, of course, to help it steam. And you can also help it along by placing a top on it. And then this will happen really quickly as far as the cooking process. So make sure you check after about two or three minutes. Carefully separate the meat and the buns if they were not already separated beforehand. And you're going to have to carefully flip it out onto your platter. I'm having some difficulty doing this. So actually, after this first attempt, I end up just using a spoon and just scooping the onions out onto the flipped over burger. Now I'm going to steam the top part of my buns with a little slice of cheese. I'm going to put the lid on to help melt the cheese a little bit, and I'm going to check after somewhere between 30 seconds to a minute. And here we have it. I made four sliders steamed, of course, and I didn't use potato bun. I actually used a type of slider bun with honey. 
it's all like I could find at the store since everyone was clearing out the stores during this time. But I steamed the bun, the top bun, with the cheese upside down on the onions that I already had in the pan. So of course I had to wipe off some onions when I flipped everything over and built my little burger. So I'm going to taste it and see if I need to adjust the seasoning or if I want to add any ketchup or condiments like that. That is a nicely steamed little slider. So I think with the rest of my meat, I'm going to actually punch up the seasoning of the black pepper and the garlic pepper. Might even add a little bit of salt. And this is why I wanted to just do a test with the four to see if I wanted to do anything differently with the meats. Of course, I have a lot of leftover meat left. So I think with my pound and a quarter, I could easily make about 10 sliders. So... I think I'm going to adjust the seasoning and do that. And I'm going to finish cooking them up so that my kids can enjoy them later. Thank you guys for watching. If you like these sort of videos, then please subscribe. Check out my other videos that I have on my channel, Memphis Space Food Trotter. Check out my description box. I'll have the link of the original video of where I got the inspiration for doing sliders. And... I will see you guys next time. Please be safe. Hopefully you guys will try out some recipes and cook while you guys are at home staying safe. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks guys. Bye.